Okay. Um, all right. I'm really sorry about this. I'm I, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, adjust this brand new phone that I got. It's not it's not the best phone in the world. Uh, I was talking about that phone last week. Something that I was not supposed to talk about, but uh, but. Uh, Okay, uh, I really forgot to do this. Okay, let me start right from the beginning. Um, uh, first of all, I am really, yeah. As I was saying, when I first heard that The Uninvited, when I first, that there was no plans for a sequel, I got very upset. And I was like, what? No, sequel to The Uninvited? But what about the mayor? Because, you know, Okay, you know, A Tale of Two Sisters and The Uninvited, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those two stories, they're actually the same story. That, so I shouldn't say those two stories because they're the same story. Uh, that story was actually based on, on, uh, two different stories. No, 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 I'm sorry. It was based on, uh, it was based on a story written, written a long time ago in, in South Korea or North Korea or whatever. Uh, it, it's about uh, as I was saying before. Let me start all over again, in case you in case you missed what I just said. Uh, okay, I'll tell you two sisters or the uninvited is about this young girl who just been released from this mental hospital following the death of her mother. She lost her mother in in this uh, fire in a boat accident in the boathouse. The the boathouse was catch on fire, and then. Uh, Following her release, she is reunited with her dad. She is reunited with her sister. But uh, let me think. Uh, her, 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 their father was engaged to her, to their mom's uh, nurse. And there, and then these ghosts showed up, and they warned, they warned uh, one of them about uh, the fact that she is that the evil st that uh, there's. Their soon-to-be stepmom, their daddy's fiance, is dangerous. So uh, you know when their when their dad left ta left town, uh, there was a there was a battle, you know, like a fight to the death between the between the two sisters and their dad's fiance. But what, like I said before, if the if their daddy's fiance was dangerous and evil. How come she was never arrested? How come the law was on the, on her side? I mean, she was never convicted of a crime. She was never, uh, you know, she was never convicted of a crime. She was never convicted of a crime. Um, she was never she was found she was never found guilty or not guilty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, I mean, if if she's if she was never if she was never taken to court for a crime, then how come she, then how come she was playing the bad guy? If she was innocent, how come she was playing the bad guy? I don't get it. The law was on her side, their, their father was on her, her side, and of course when, uh, when, uh, of course when it was all over, it's, it seems that everybody was on, it was on, everybody was on the evil stepmother's side. And of course, one of them was taken back to the funny farm against her wishes. So, uh, so when I heard that there were no plans for a sequel, I got very upset because there was something left off, left off, left off from the from the um, from those two movies. There were like a couple of characters that were left off from from those two movies, and I'm gonna say what, just one of them, the mayor. When I heard when there were no plans for a sequel, I got very upset and I was like, what about the mayor? Did they forget that there's a mayor in this story? I mean, who is the, I mean, who is the mayor anyway? I really like to know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I really like to know who the mayor is. And it's not just the mayor. Well... <sighs> I remember, I remember, uh, I, uh, their, uh, their dad said that, that she want, that the evil stepmom had a boyfriend. I mean, who is the boyfriend anyway? I really like to know who the boyfriend is. 
I mean, who is the boyfriend anyway? The town's mayor? I mean, why did they left that story off? I really like to know where I really like to know who the mayor is. I really like to know who the boyfriend is. I mean, without the sequel, we're not going to find out who this person is. The boyfriend, the mayor, uh, could he be the could he be the town's mayor? I really like to know who who this uh, who this boyfriend who this boyfriend is, and how come Rachel never mentioned Rachel was the name of the character that Elizabeth Banks played? Uh, how come the how come the mayor? How come how come the evil step Rachel the evil stepmom did not mention anything about about a boyfriend to to any of the girls? I don't get it. Well, if that's true, then how come she was playing the bad guy? I don't understand this. That's why I said, and like I said before, when people ask me, they ask me a couple of questions. Uh, if I like this movie or not. Well, I always give them my verdict. And my verdict was, I did not understand The Uninvited. Okay, I did not understand that movie at all. I mean, I mean, who, who is... Who is Rachel's boyfriend anyway? How come she never mentioned it in the first place? I don't get it. You know, this is the sort of thing that makes you want to scratch your scratch your head. Anybody missed that? Let's let's see if I could do it again. No, it didn't go. It didn't go over the air. That sounds like this. Okay, did you hear that? Instead of scratching my head, I scratched the microphone. Yeah. That, that makes you want to scratch your head. You know, I'm like, who's that? Wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute. Who's that? Unfortunately, we never found out, we never found out who it was. Because, uh, because these people did not, did not bother to do, these people did not bother to do a sequel. I, I, I'm so ashamed of this. I, I, I'm so ashamed of, of uh, DreamWorks uh, Pictures not doing doing a sequel to that movie. I'm really am ashamed of it. I mean, uh, Roger Ebert, God rest his soul. Uh, he gave it three three out of four stars, while the others gave it negative reviews. I hope, uh, and because, and uh, when I tell them that I wrote the sequel. They they wanted to they wanted to know well if you don't understand the movie how come you wrote the sequel and then I said I want to find out who who this uh, this boyfriend this mayor whatever who he is, who he is because that was because the mayor was absent from the uninvited okay he was absent from the from the uninvited movie I mean I mean if you go back and and read. Some of those books, I know those books are in a different language. I think it's in Korean language. You probably do not understand it. You know, uh, according to what I read, they said that the two sisters are actually ghosts, and they came to visit um, the mayor. This young man, this mayor, they wanted. You know, the the mayor asked these uh, sisters, um, "Why did you kill all the previous mayors?" Why did you do? Why did you do that? And then the, one of them answered that uh, you had to avenge our deaths. Somebody in our family ha had something to do with our murders. Can you do something about it? Because uh, yeah, so uh, it looks like uh, that uh, that's a, that Elizabeth Banks character, uh, Rachel, the evil stepmother, got eliminated. So there's no way. They could probably do a sequel without her. Well, and then again, maybe, maybe, I don't know. But uh, I don't want to spoil spoil the the, the the screenplay that I have written. But I could tell you, maybe I could tell you just a little bit. Maybe I could tell you just a little bit of of, uh, of my script picking up where where the uninvited left off. Uh, and I hope uh, Emily Browning will reprise her character someday because she deserves a comeback. Okay, all right. Here it comes. Uh, after she got uh, following the events of the, of the uninvited, she she gets sent back to the same mental hospital that she was before against her wishes. 